All right, YouTube, we're out here in front of the Museum of Art in Philadelphia. Ooh, windy. Give you a lay of the land, show you what I'm at. We got flats up around. All right, let's get inside so we can take a gander at what type of network speed we have for our next contenders. So, right now, today, we are looking at Verizon and T-Mobile. So, Verizon is going to be on the right-hand side. And T-Mobile is on the left. So, as you can see, we're at the Museum of Art in Philadelphia. Verizon already has N261 ready to go. T-Mobile, let's see what the deployment looks like for them. We're at N41. And RSRP is at negative 79. Um, band 2, 10 megahertz for Verizon. RSRP is negative 65. So these are their small cells around here. So the lower that RSRP number gets, the closer that antenna is to you. So let's see what the performance looks like down here for these two. Hmm. That millimeter wave is looking good. But T Mobile's not being a slouch down here either. I don't know if they have small cells down here. The RSRP doesn't represent very well. It might be coming from a building probably to my three o'clock that when I was showing the video at the beginning. It's probably coming from my three o'clock overlooking the museum. All right, so we're at 789 down and 231 up for Verizon, 477 down and 53 up for T-Mobile. All right, so speedtest.com should corroborate our findings. And it does. All right, that millimeter wave is cooking down here on the um, museum. But Verizon has it, and we're at 580 by 81. Verizon is 1.3 gigs by 313. Alrighty. What do we got next? That fast.com for 4K. How much 4K video can we cram into these networks? So, 530 megabits per second for T Mobile and 700 for Verizon. I expected it, that to be a lot higher, but it's nevertheless, it's still good. Alrighty, and we got Imperv. So we got standalone versus non standalone. That millimeter wave is kicking it right now. 1.8 maxed out compared to 390 for T-Mobile. All 
Alrighty. Moving on to the browsing test. Browsing on this is pretty good and pretty fast. So, and now we're on to the streaming. Seven twenty P. Now ten eighty P. I wish that Imperv came out with a four K test. That would that would be a, the ultimate test or uh, added on. Maybe even um a fourteen forty P. That's a suggestion that I'm probably gonna try to write to him. But right now Verizon is at eighteen fifty one down in 312 up browsing the streaming looks good t-mobile is not slouching but is nowhere close to that gig uh 390 down and 99 up browsing and streaming very good in the green but verizon is kicking it right now so let's see what happens when we download over the network We, I suspect we know what the outcome is going to be if the millimeter wave holds. So, three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. 22 to 16, 47 to 30. 77 to 42, 95 to 52, and Verizon is done. That millimeter wave is cooking. It's probably taking a lot of the uh, stress off of their LTE network over here also. And T-Mobile just finished also. Well, small sales do help you, um, especially bringing that millimeter wave in closer. But... T-Mobile showing that they can do it without small sales from the looks of it. So which one is which? Networking um, prowlers versus networking prowlers. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to the videos um, so you can stay up to date what's going on with um, the traveling um, persona. Uh, I'm looking, I'm, you know, driving around here at uh, the Philadelphia area, testing out everything. Um, I'm gonna have, gotta find more spots. I'm probably gonna go over to the sports complex next. But thank y'all for watching, and y'all have a good one.